Hi and good morning. So today we're going to be doing a very short run through of how to add work items to Azure boards. Now this is my home improvements project. For those that have, may have seen some of my other videos, this is where I'm just collecting and running through a, a, an agile project to track my uh, renovations of my house and a few other things. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go across to the boards and we're going to show I'm going to show you a few different ways of doing this. But the first way you're going to go is straight into work items. And if we go into the work items, we can click new work item up the top and we can come down and we've got these different types of work items. And there's great documentation that talks about the hierarchy. But in this case, I'm going to create a product backlog item. And if I create a product backlog item, it then asks me to enter in a title, um, set an area path, an iteration path, a description, acceptance criteria, um, please ignore this field because I don't really need it at the moment. And this just gives me a way of tracking that information I want to put into here. So I'm going to create this uh, to say that I'm going to uh, paint the hallway on the top floor. I am going to set this as new at the moment. This is a new backlog item. Um, the top floor needs painting. is painted floor walls are painted so i'm going to save that first of all now i've saved that work item and now i can assign it to somebody so i'm going to assign, assign it to myself and apologies about blurring there just needed to make sure that uh, we keep uh, email addresses safe for other people um, I'm leaving this into my home improvements property area path and I'm setting it to the home improvement November 2021 iteration. So this is basically my sprint planning in effect uh, because it's a scrum based project and I'm, I'm running on monthly uh, uh, sprints. So I'm going to save that and that is as simple as that as creating a work item. Now I can relate this to other work items. So if I add a link to an existing work item i can say that this is related there are lots of other options so i can say that it consumed from or produces to or i could say that it's a child of or a duplicate of or a parent or a predecessor um, or a successor but in this case i'm just going to go related to and i'm going to put it down as related to glossing uh the hallway because um it is related to also like glossing the parts around the house up there. And I click OK and I can save it. So that's my first short video on for today. So thank you very much. Um, and we'll come back and look at another way in another video.